Hickok 45 here. You didn't know they made the Schofield revolver in stainless steel, did you, I'll bet? Well, I found one. We're going to shoot this big pumpkin with it. Maybe a couple of times. Maybe we'll carve it. How about her nose? <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that. I have one round left. Let's put it on the stop sign. I can't believe I hit it. That's a miracle. <laughs> oh, it's not a Schofield. It's an itty bitty revolver of some kind. Yeah, you've seen the title. It is a Ranger II North American Arms NAA, as we commonly refer to them. And it's a top break. That's why we're out here. I thought it'd be cool. I had not done the top break yet. So pretty neat. Uh, any top break revolver, for some reason, is just cool, isn't it? I mean, I think most of you all think that, right? Because I think it, you think like I do, you're all smart, right? There's something about a top, maybe it's because they're not that common. That might be part of it, right? And uh, there's just, but I've always liked a top break revolver. And uh, so, man, it's a little bit off the, well, it's not off the topic, but yeah. So yeah, this is a North American Arms, the Ranger 2. I haven't even been out a while, but I've not uh, seen it. And uh, I saw that uh, Bud's had one of these things. I thought, oh, you know what, that is pretty cool. I had seen them in a picture, a, a gun show or somewhere. And I remember being impressed that they're making this, uh, these little things at a top rate. So I ordered one up. We appreciate BudsGunShop.com helping us out, as you can imagine, right? Uh, I might not have this if it weren't for them. And we also appreciate the Sonoran Desert Institute, SDI.edu. You could uh, get certified in gunsmithing there and get well on the road to becoming a gunsmith so that you could work on something like this. If it broke, you could fix it and get paid to fix it. How's that? <laughs> if I fix it, I don't get paid, right? If I fix one of my firearms. But anyway, you know, remember the people that help us appreciate that. And we're going to fire some federal ammunition in it. We appreciate their assistance in almost every video. The sense of CCI under their umbrella. Here's some 22 federal uh, magazine that they're going to fire. And because I have a cylinder that will fire a 22 long rifle that's in it and then this fires 22 magnum okay it comes with both of those this thing sells for a little over 500 best i can tell msrp is over 600 but i think it sells for around 5 550 depending on where you buy it if you can find it right <laughs> well this one will go back to buzz i'll have at least one i guess on the e-gunner but anyway i just wanted to try it and shoot it now Here's the bad news, or good news. I can't hit anything with it, but I wanted to try it anyway. And uh, why do I have the Schofield out here? Somebody tell me. I know, uh, everybody in Kentucky, my relatives here, they have no clue, right? But most of you other folks do. You have an idea why I have the Schofield. <laughs> it is, it's just a big version of that, isn't it? They break down, top break, and just thought, you know, why not? Because I, I like the Schofield for the same reason. It's just unique. Now, I prefer the Colt single action to shoot, carry. If I was living in 1880, uh, I, yeah, it'd be a tough call to some extent. We'll get it out in another video maybe, but I uh, probably already have. But uh, the Schofield is cool, even if it is a little more fragile than, say, a uh, uh, Colt single action or any revolver that has a, uh, a closed top strap like this one. This is my other. You've seen a video on that. Uh, it's a 22 Magnum, North American Arms, and I got this gizmo on it. I forget who makes that. Is it North American Arms? Yeah. Yeah, it is. They make it, I guess. I have had that for a long time. I took the regular grips off that were more like this and put this on there because I tell you what, this thing is so small. In my large hands, you know, it, it's just almost impossible to grasp to shoot. But now, something like that uh, makes it shootable, I have to say, because you can cock it and it's more like a real firearm, I have to say. <laughs> and this is a little larger, has a little bit bigger grip. Let's load it up again. Uh, it helps a little bit because it's got a little larger grip, but it's still difficult to shoot, okay? So I want to you know, shoot this and let you know what I think about it. That's what we do. And uh, part of what I think about it is it might not be the best choice for you, but it, it might be. I, one way a lot of us look at these little firearms is these little North American arms firearms, especially with even a shorter barrel. It's, uh, it's a good gun to carry for when you can't carry a gun. Does that make sense? You know, they're so small generally that if you just are dressed so that you can't carry a firearm, maybe one of these would work. 
okay <laughs> especially one like uh, this was a little bit bigger and the grips a little bigger I guess they have a smaller grip available for this and they do come in a shorter barrel than this one yeah, and then of course you know more like this one and if you put the original grips back on this and take this big thing off you might not be able to shoot it or hit anything with it but it would be a lot smaller okay and it would tuck in a shirt pocket almost or anywhere right and they do carry they've got a notch between the chambers both of them do so you can rest the hammer between that and those notches and then you know, it's not resting against a round of course all right so let's fire this one all right now like i say i can't hit anything with it i have shot it some you know i got all this set up like i'm gonna shoot all this stuff <laughs> pretty funny huh uh well maybe maybe not if john's ready let's do this how's this <laughs> let's go down here and shoot this other one i can't hit them after all Really focus, really focus. <laughs> oh, great, great, <laughs> great. All right, let's move back up to the range here. Oh boy, we got it on the lens and, and everywhere. I need to keep a hanky so I can wipe off the lens. <laughs> so we shot three of them. All right, at least I hit them. I didn't waste it. Here's another one. Let's not get too close. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> so actually it worked. <laughs> we got all of them. Like a, a, don't pay attention to me. You can hit them. You just have to get closer, right? Like that pumpkin. I got close enough where I could hit it. In all seriousness, I guess, uh, if I can be serious, if I'm an instant if, if uh, what these are for, of course, is pulling out, it's contact distance almost, that sort of thing. So you want to be up really close. And uh, so trying to hit something at even 8, 10, 20 yards is very, very difficult. Unless maybe you have really small hands, you might be able to do it. You might surprise yourself. But really, uh, <laughs> check them out in the gun shop before you buy it. And before we go too far, I want to also thank a major supporter of ours and that is wow look at that uh silencer central in uh, sioux falls south dakota appreciate their support it's a one-stop shop for suppressors uh, you can call them you can go online they'll help you walk you through buying a suppressor okay uh, so uh, they, they'll help you with everything do the trust if you want one and all that that kind of thing so great outfit we appreciate their support i think i have a oh yeah here i keep these since i wear glasses uh, like I say, while well, I'm cleaning my glasses, because I want to hit something else with it without getting drenched. We just have to get the two liters out, don't we? Even with one of these things. So, like I say, around a 500 bucks. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I got a, another fireman in my pocket that's hot. I brought it out and was carrying it here just for this reason. That's an LCP2, and you might wonder why I just put it on the table. Many of you already know. If you need a really small firearm, uh, to me, something like the LCP2, it could be something else. I'm not selling Ruger's North American arms or anything, but uh, that's going to be my choice. Uh, I, I like these things. They're, they're a little bit like the uh, Bond Arms Derringers. Just so cool and fun to own, fun to shoot. But probably nothing I'm going to carry because I, I find better better choices. If I need something really small and light, uh, I mean this thing, you see how I struggle to shoot that? Well now I may struggle with this as well, but uh I mean I can actually hit stuff with this. It really does away much more and it's not much bigger, to tell you the truth. Uh, and you got six plus one shot, see a five. And you know, they're both just really light. And you know, I mean, I, yeah, the, the Ruger's a little bit bigger, but I'm just making the point. You may name some other firearms, but uh, it's not like it's n nothing. It is a piece of iron, you got a stick somewhere. And, uh, and boy, when you have to shoot it, it's, uh, it's difficult for me. I'm hitting those empty cases with that. 
I mean, you could fire it, you could do okay. And again, when you've got hands like mine, it, it, it colors everything you're talking about when you're talking about grips. So let's, let's change the cylinders out there. So, but yeah, I would rather carry a very shootable firearm uh, myself, okay? Unless, now if I really need a deep cover, <laughs> you know, so deep uh, that I just had no other choice, uh, I would get the smallest one of these I could possibly find, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe it would be a, uh, you know, something better than an LCP2. You know, it would have an advantage maybe over the LCP2, don't it? So anyway, now one of the negatives of this thing, you got to watch, uh, again, if you're, and it's the same with the Schofield. They uh, designed this latch, the number three, uh, originally you pulled up on this part to open it up. So it was a little more of a two-hand operation. And then was it Colonel or Major, whatever, Schofield, he uh, came up with the, and he was in the military, uh, cavalry, I guess. He uh, came up with the idea, he said, hey, we need this thing to, to unlatch with this thumb right here so you don't have to put your other hand on it. You can unlatch it, you know, and you can, uh, you can load it, and it's just easier on horseback and all that. So real popular, but like this and this, I've had that happen to me. You're messing around, you're reaching for that hammer and you, and you go too far and you actually open it up when you didn't mean to and dump out all your rounds. And I've noticed with this, you can do that too. You're grabbing a hammer and you see, I just opened it up. So, you know, you gotta be careful of that. If you're gonna use one of these in combat, <laughs> just be aware of that, all right? If you gotta cock it in a hurry, just grab the hammer spur, all right? So I don't want you to get killed for lack of shooting back. So let's take the uh, 22 long rifle uh, cylinder out. And uh, yeah, how you do that? Okay, you raise this, raise it, it pulls right off. Pretty cool, huh? 22 long rifle, or 22 magnum now. The, uh, I noticed the long rifle cylinder has an L on it. So, trying to help us out. Okay, so let's shoot a couple of magnums. One, two. I'm not gonna keep you too long. Just thought it'd uh, make you aware of this. Uh, they're cool, they're, they really are. Uh, I, I kind of like them, but I know I sound like I'm dogging it a little bit, but as a carry gun, you start talking tactics and, and all that kind of thing. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I've, I've never heard uh, Clint Smith speak to these. I don't know, he might, uh, he might think best thing since sliced bread when you need something really small i don't know probably not my guess is no but i, I might be wrong i can't speak for him he, he is a whole lot smarter than i am about this kind of thing right didn't need to say that but it's hard for me to imagine uh you know many serious trainers uh advising people to, to buy these not that that's the last word on everything uh many of the firearms we purchase of course are they're, they're for fun, or we just like the firearm. You know, that's a lot of it. So, but, but with these, you can't help but put them in a category of a, a defensive firearm, right? And uh, just make sure you feel like you can shoot it well. And you could determine that pretty well, like at a gun shop or a gun store. Uh, you could get your hand on that thing and, you know, and just see how you can cock it and aim it. So they're, they're kind of tricky. Let's put a round on that target, see if I can hit it. Boom, hit somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, let's see if I can hit that uh, tombstone down there. I heard it ring. You know what I ought to do? I won't hit it, I'm sure. I'd probably stay here all night, but let me try one over there at the gong. I think I got a round or two left. I have no idea where to hold or anything, but we'll have to listen carefully now. So take your earmuffs off. I think I have one more, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no telling. No telling where it's going. I think it tends to shoot high for me because the recoil just brings up my hand the way I hold it. So then you pop them out. It would be quicker reload if you found yourself in combat with one of these. I don't know that the shells eject out all the way. I think you usually have to help them, help them out. Still better than those where you have to take the cylinder out in order to get it out, okay? Much better, let's shoot it five more times. And I'll let you go. Oh, I had plenty of ammo here, didn't I? So it is what it is. Uh, a lot of people are, have interest in things like this just because the cool factor is so high. It's all, I'll tell you what it's all like in some ways. This one is, to me, is, or even the others, but 
it's like if you've ever been to a gun show uh, or seen in a magazine or online, there's miniature firearms. John and I have seen them uh, a lot of times at gun shows, at big gun shows like Tulsa or around NRA meeting or something. There, there's a, I don't know, there's a guy or company, I, I can't tell you who it is, but they make miniatures of lever, lever guns, like classic firearms. And uh, this is kind of like one of those, isn't it, John? It, it may be a little big, but they'll have, someone probably makes a miniature of the Schofield, you know, the 1873 Winchester, uh, Colt Single Action. They're actually smaller than that. And they even, I think, even have little bitty fake bullets, I guess, for them. And they're very expensive, very expensive. Kind of like building a ship in a bottle sort of thing. So they, it kind of reminds me of that. So, so you know, there is a cool factor there, whether you think you carry it or not. Don't know. All right. Can't speak for you, can I? What should I shoot? Now we're all soaked. Got all. Let's try that pumpkin again. Okay, now these are magnums. So if you could pull it out and hit something that close, yeah, maybe it would have some uh, use for you. Let's see that uh, stop sign. The cowboy. Got him, got him. Got him again. So. Maybe if you practice with it, actually, maybe if I practice with it, if I worked with it, <laughs> I could shoot a little bit better and I'd be more complimentary of it maybe, right? But again, I, I do have a large hand, so it's almost a firearm that I, I shouldn't even uh, be too opinionated about because, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a real challenge with my hand size. Because I think every, you know, 5% of increase in your hand size makes a big difference with a firearm like this. In my hand, maybe like 50% bigger than yours, um, but, but, they're, but they're cool. So anyway, they're available just so you know about it. Uh, they're, they're high quality. I, it's hard to find anybody that complains about the quality on these things, it's like the Bond Arms Derringers. It's just they're unique, and a lot of people might think they're useless, but whatever they are, whatever your opinion is on these kinds of things, these, these are well made. Uh, in fact, I did some reading about how the, uh, somebody was talking about the uh, stainless they use is really a high quality stainless. stainless. Somebody was carrying, had carried one in, a, I think, a real humid condition. They used it running and cycling and sweat all over it and everything, and it never did really change colors. So apparently they use a high grade of stainless steel, and uh, they seem to be machined really well. Okay, so uh, anyway, for whatever that's worth, and uh, so that was the Ranger 2, uh, Top Break, North American Arms. It's been out a little while, and uh, you may not have been aware of that. So I saw that uh, Bud's had one of those things, and I had spotted him before. Thought, eh, pretty neat. And uh, let's get one and shoot it. And let's, uh, I, I think I proved in the first video with this firearm that I can't shoot these very well. So let's get another one and confirm it, okay? <laughs> so anyway, the... Uh, North American Arms Ranger 2 Top Break uh, could be your next combat pistol choice, and you just don't know it yet. Life is good. Uh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh, man. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall, talongungrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips, so go check them out. Also, Ballastol, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastol, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45, and also I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J O H N underscore H I C K O K 45 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.